grab a tube of caulk, step outside. Hey, look, a window. I'm not going to use the sniffer on the gun because I don't like them. Looks about right. I'm going to use our poker on the gun. I like to go all the way around the edges on the inside to pop out the whole section. If you just poke one hole, then it's not going to go very fast. Caulk in. This one twists, so I don't care how it's sitting, but normally I would. Okay, we're set. Let's get it going. Yeah, they're good. Okay. So this one's the easy one, going down the side. Angle it in. You don't want a giant hole. That's important. To keep even distance and even hand pressure, and it's stupid easy. That's it. And now against the window. Oh no, I just lost my tube. Deal. I'm gonna come down from the top. Be right there. Just a second. I'm pumping it a little bit more. Giving a little bit more grease on this one because it's a big hole. You can do your nail holes. I'm not going to because it looks really ugly because it ends up to be in a different color. I'm actually gonna run my finger on this one just because of right there. That's it. Much prettier. This is shaky. Looks like a skink decided to get stuck in there a while ago. There went his tail. Okay. So this is the important part of any window and this is definitely an important part with these windows. So you just run along like normal and then you hit one of these and you just fill it up nice and deep stick it in there and we're gonna come back to that same thing that's probably sealed honestly because it's so squishy you know stick it in there and so it kind of pressurizes it a little bit you want to kind of cap it off i don't think i'm going to touch those because they look good you can see in there where it's hitting the grooves and it gets in there real nice so i think we're fine on those giving it a lot of caulk because it's a big hole this is pretty well sealed, but at least to keep bugs out of there. This isn't going to leak. It's on top that you had the leak hazard. And I haven't noticed these leak without caulk, and they've been without caulk for like three months. So maybe it isn't as boring as people think. Let's throw that in the grass. Grass works surprisingly well to clean your caulk tips. If you ever don't have paper towels, just go find some grass. That works pretty well. That's a tiny little bee, but that's all it needs. So that's all I'm giving it. This is going to be a lot heftier. The angle of your tip is super important. That you can only learn by feel, so basically just doing it. And clicking right at the end. Release that pressure so you don't get the big globs. Like when I start, first started caulking, I had a lot of caulk flying places. Because I didn't learn that, so that'll save you a lot of time. Click it as soon as you're done. And same thing on the bottom. There we go. Lost it. Another <laughs> skink. Poor guys get stuck on the tape in there. Wow, this is getting hairy. Are there spider webs or something? I think that's a problem. Got some spider webs. And doors are exactly the same thing, but just there's no bottom. And these ones are not even going close to the bottom because we hit the knee wall. So there we go. Got a little bit of a knot there. I think that looks like we know what we're doing there. Pretty. No transition. Nice. So anyway, there you go. That's how to caulk windows and doors. The top's exactly the same as the windows, so I don't think I need to show you that again. And anyway, tap, go all the way around the edges on the inside to pull out a plug when you're caulking. Makes it a lot easier. And click, and as soon as you're done, loosen up the tension so you don't get caulk everywhere and make a mess. That's the important things. And make sure you get in those grooves on T111 if you're doing T111. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. If you want to subscribe while you're here, I wouldn't mind.